all right guys welcome back so we are again going to be talking about shapes there were a few points that were not covered the last topic i guess it was too much to cover so we're going to do that today and that is basically how to observe shapes right or how to see now i promise you once you start doing this exercise you are instantly going to be really good at observing how things are around okay so let's let's get on to it so there are only three types of shapes so one is a polygon okay so a polygon is basically that has four sides then comes a triangle okay basically three sides right four sides three sides and circle which has no sides okay now these are basically the shapes that you need now if you understand how these shapes are and if you can spot these shapes in the regular day objects that you see you can be a master of observation right so let's let's look at the first example right here on a little doodle so i'm just making like a very let me just make like a very quick sketch of a, a face Okay, so when I'm doing this sketch, you guys can see like, oh yeah, this guy, like he, he has good command over lines and so, right? But the truth is, uh, I'm just looking at shapes. I'm just looking at lines and how, what shapes these lines form, right? So the first shape that I see is the big circle, which is right here, sorry. Oops, see so that's the big circle and the second shape is the basically our triangle right now these can be further divided in multiple different shapes like that's a smaller triangle you can divide this into a rectangle or like a polygon uh, this shape becomes a triangle right etc etc now if you can do this can observe shapes so let's look at one of the paintings that I did Ooh, la, la. cool so this is, this is a very old sketch that I did back in 2020 last year um, so this is mostly done as a practice now let's look at some of the shapes which can be seen here so shapes as Cal spoke in the last video is that it's formed when light hits surface and the surface gets illuminated and the surface casts a shadow. So we see two types of shapes. One is the light shapes, right? And the other is the dark shapes or the shadow shapes, right? So even here we see our objects in these same formats. Okay, so the first shape would be this triangle that I see. Okay, I see this polygon I see this polygon I see this circle I see this big circle okay let me just take a different color see this big circle All right I see this triangle or oh, this rectangle right and this rectangle right there and I see all these small little triangles which look menacing now we will talk about designs using shapes later on but like if I'm going to look at this it does look like a skull because we are looking oh, we are dissecting the whole skull into different shapes now I can divide this a bit even more so let's say I went down and I said no like you know this is not an entire circle this is actually getting cut just midway right there 
right? And that's all it's going. So that's because I can say that, okay, this whole jaw is a triangle and it's getting cut. So when you look at a shape, right? Let's cut these off. So when you look at a shape, let's say you have a polygon and you're going to add, okay, a circle to it. So you get multiple different things. So the first thing would be like a polygon with that or a polygon like this or let's say you have your circle then you get it like this right so you get multiple different forms so the same thing happens when you mix a triangle using a circle you get something like that you can cut it right you can merge down something like this you can get multiple different shapes just using these kind of things okay now there are some shapes that I can draw but I'm not going to draw because I want to keep it PG 13 I know what you dirty minds are thinking but <laughs> you get the point like you know you can mix all of these shapes together to create newer shapes right so that's what we can do later on saying that okay I don't want this shape right here so I'm going to divide this I'm going to take that and I'm going to divide that so that way I'm getting more shapes so the same way as we said light and dark forms a shape so you saw how I can divide multiple shapes by itself now you can, let's observe some of the darker shapes now light is coming from here and it's getting hit a shadow is being casted right there right so we can see shape number one shape number two right bu, bu, bu. we can see this whole negative shape right there right we can see all of this negative shape right there right so we can divide that even more. So that's literally how we observe shapes. So if I'm going to draw the skull, I can draw it essentially with a circle, probably a triangle. It's going through there. I can divide this with a triangle like that, right? Take that portion off. We can add a circle. I can divide this area to give me a flatter line by using a polygon okay now I can get all these smaller details by using like okay these are smaller little jaws etc to get this I can add another polygon right there I can add another polygon right there and you got yourself a nice little skull now that's how you observe Smoking is bad. That's why you die. Okay, but this is how you observe your <laughs> Shapes, okay, so let's look at the demo so in this demo you guys can see that I'm painting a sushi. Okay now Whenever you're painting or whenever you're drawing you think of when you're starting off the painting or the piece of art you think of it in the big shapes you don't think of it in small little shapes where you see the small details right from the get-go but you see the bigger details so i knew that i wanted to place two sushis right here so i have two big shapes right which are basically a triangle right both the sushis are made up of a triangle and a rectangle or a polygon the same thing goes for the one in gray it is just two triangles that's it which are merged together to create that kind of a shape now of course you can take a shape and you can arrange them in different ways like how we spoke about before right you can uh, warp them into perspective you can um, skew them you can like you know see them in different angles different area so that's that's literally what's going on so whenever i'm seeing these studies i'm looking at it in those kind of ways so i'm seeing 
these small little areas where the light is being casted as a polygon but it's a bit skewed or it's a bit distorted or this triangle which is a bit distorted this sphere which is a bit distorted right so i'm not looking them looking at these guys just for how they are shown in the image that i have i'm looking at them on how it's it can be represented right now as this goes on like you would notice i do a few other tricks so one of the tricks that i just did was i applied a filter called surface blur so basically it just takes out a lot of these extra details so i can like increase and paint in more details and some areas just get blurred out okay so it just helps me to add those extra details now now if you noticed as the painting is coming along i'm going in with the finer details applying those small little brushworks to give those small little details of those fleshy salmon texture right i'm not worried about the big image like the big shapes anymore i'm looking at the smaller shapes right so that's the same thing with any kind of painting whenever you observe you look at the big shape so when you're painting a sketch or a sketch or a, of a skull you look at the two big shapes what the skull is made up of which is a circle and a triangle and then you try to dissect you try to divide you try to add other shapes into it to sculpt the thing out okay so that's literally what i'm doing right now over here and Another thing that I start doing while I'm painting or I start like, you know, I usually do it subconsciously now is that I start applying the same principle of adding and subtracting shapes based on where the light is being hit and where the shadows are going to be. So that gives you more organic shapes and more control over the shapes on how they are going to be or how they should be. Hmm. That's a lot of ramble about shapes, but again, life is the same way, right? Like we don't look at life as this one small aspect in life. We look at life as like a big thing. There are so many things that we want to do. There are so many things that we want to achieve, etc., etc. Now we are a bit slow on uploading these kind of videos, is because we are working and we are working not for like companies as a freelance or like a concept artist or an illustrator we are mostly working for ourselves right now like we are working on a short film uh, that i'm directing and yeah we are animating that we just finished 3d stuff hopefully it comes out good now the same thing gets applied like you know look at the big shapes first or like look at the big tasks and then you go into smaller tasks so the concept of how I showed you to break down your shapes going from big, medium to small shapes can be applied to even everyday regular tasks, right? So when you're thinking about making a short film, the first thing that we did was like, oh no, the story has to be good because short film, like film is about story. It's about a story that you want to see. And then comes in the rest of the parts, right? So. It's the same way. Life is about the same way too. So you, you think about what you want, like the big picture that you want in your head, and then focus on the small little task, which would eventually lead you to that position. All right. Um, I hope you guys learned watching this video today, like just observing shapes. Now, something that I would tell you guys do is like just see or try to do the exercise that I just showed you on everyday objects. You can start with like even a carrot, even like a cucumber, uh, even like an onion, anything, right? You will be able to form these small little shapes and it will work out and you will learn on how to observe and how to apply these basic shapes to those things 
right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was a very short video we're trying to make short videos like this and if you like it and if you want to see more please subscribe uh we would really appreciate that and yeah please give us please leave your comments and thoughts as well and please let us know on what else what are the topics to cover on thank you